everybody, it's Pat Jack JW, and you're watching the Arizona Ghost Riders. Hey there, folks. Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. Today, we're going to be talking to you about towns in the Old West, so get ready for a little history and maybe a little humor. Well, we'll see about that. Hollywood would have us believe that the quintessential western town consisted of one main street. That's not really the case. Most towns in the Old West were set up as a grid with multiple blocks and streets. Town lots were about 25 feet wide. Streets were very wide, however, to accommodate a horse and wagon making a U-turn. Boom towns were thrown up after an area had been designated for a gold or silver strike. So many folks were piling in from all over to strike at Rich, opportunity abounded. Someone would find a suitable area located near a water source and start throwing up structures. Most businesses would start as a tent and depending on the economy would build from there. To give the air of prosperity, carpenters would extend the height of the building face. These false fronts are still in common use today. The northern states had an abundance of trees and therefore had a lot of lumber to build with. In the southwest, however, wood building materials were more scarce and adobe bricks took their place. Just like today, one could find every manner of service needed to sustain life on the frontier. Doctors, mercantiles, blacksmiths, banks, saloons, lawyers, and Starbucks. Wait, that, that, that's wrong information. Bill Brazelton, stop messing with my scripts! <laughs> there were houses, but they tended to be on the outskirts of the busy districts in order to not associate with the noise and the riffraff. Miners getting off shift and cowboys coming off a cattle drive were big opportunities for the town to make money. Cowboys were known to spend a moderate chunk of their pay on spiffing up for a night on the town. Wow. Oh, Bat Jack, just get a shave? Close one. Yeah? Well, they yeah. gave you some bay rum afterwards for antiseptic, didn't they? No. Uh oh. Ah! Until the paving of streets became common, boardwalks would knock some of the ever-present dust and mud off the shoes and boots. This pleased business owners who had a little less sweeping to do as a result. A train going through town... Let me rephrase that. A train passing alongside of the town was a huge step in its success. The commerce that came as a result of the railroad grew a town quickly. Fire was the biggest enemy to Old West towns. The buildings were so close together that a knocked over oil lamp could wipe out an entire business district. Thriving towns would always rebuild, some burned down more than once. Of course that wasn't the only bad thing. If a mine played out, that could spell certain death to a town. The people would move on and the town would fall into ruin. Well that's it for another episode. Please like, share, and subscribe and I'll see you on down the trail. Thank you.